Hi, this is Gene Cotton with the Nicaragua Project out of Christ United Methodist Church in Franklin, Tennessee. Been going down to Nicaragua since 1990. This is the first trip down that you're watching right now. As you can see, there aren't many cars on the road and not a lot of traffic. People back then couldn't afford automobiles. You either walked, took a bike, or uh, hopped in the back of a pickup truck. A lot of empty buildings and parts of buildings standing all over Managua and the surrounding areas from the uh, devastating earthquake in 1972. This is the first group of about 15 young people that we took down from Nashville, Tennessee back in 1990. It was a life-changing experience and the following year this group of Nicaraguans uh, came to uh, the United States for several weeks. We flew to Miami and being in the music business I knew somebody who knew Bachman Turner Overdrive and they gave us their tour bus to meet us in Miami and uh, head to Nashville. It was an absolutely incredible experience. Good buddy of mine, Danny Nicholson, I've been going down taking medical supplies with me. Uh, this is a doctor that works with Axion Medical Christiana and looking at all the medical supplies that we just delivered. And this is a dental station that we were able to bring down and set up there in Managua. And I think it's probably uh, the best dental station that's uh, in the uh, city of Managua to this day actually helped install it. We've also helped Axion Medico Christiana with micro businesses like this bakery and with building wells out in rural areas uh, where they need clean water. And this is Managua today. A bus full of people. This is actually right out front of the house where I usually stay. And you see a lot of this, this is kind of the national symbol, the cart and the horse or donkey sometimes. And this is a school that we've been working on for the past three years down there. The name of the school is Centro Alternativo Proyecto Diaz de Nueve de Julio. You can repeat that if you want. There are two buildings on the campus, this one-story building and this two-story building with a very dangerous staircase at the top, as you can see. That has been fixed. This is the uh, one-story classroom building, which is the first building that we tackled uh, three years ago. Rose Amanda, one of the former administrators, is showing us that there is no water this particular day, and oftentimes when there is, it's just a trickle. But that's the way it is, and you learn to live with that. Kids love sports. Their most favorite is soccer, or as they call football. This is a new printer, or computer and printer that we brought down and they were going crazy over. This is kind of the condition that the classrooms are in before we actually got into the building and started doing the work. A lot of broken doors, broken handles. Actually, one thing we didn't realize is that uh, I thought there was electricity in there, but there actually wasn't. Uh, none of the electricity worked. We had to rewire the entire building. Some of the chairs and things are in pretty bad shape. This is Rohair Gonzalez, one of the administrators at the school. He's showing that his disgust with the shape the door's in. But they just haven't had the resources and they simply don't have the money uh, to, to do this kind of work. And three years ago, we showed up and saw what it looked like and saw these beautiful, incredible faces and decided to do something. This was outside the building. And you see a lot of broken windows just from vandalism, kids coming down the street and throwing a rock. Bathrooms are in pretty bad shape, doors off, toilets didn't work. You can see a little sunlight coming through there. And this is the first group that went down uh, three years ago to start work on the school. And we're off on our little minibus and some Nicaraguans are with us. And we got into this place and we just did everything. We painted and we scrubbed and we cleaned and scraped. And we're there for about nine days and uh, had to wire this building while the wire uh, was hot. There was no way to turn it off. And as you can see, we worked amazingly fast. <laughs> but it was an incredible experience, and when we were done, it kind of looked like this. Isn't that cool? Electricity in all the rooms, all the lights worked. Whiteboards on all the, on all the rooms. Painted the interior and exterior of the building. Put brand new doors on every single room. And uh, new handles, new locks. It was an incredible experience to be a part of. Oh, and then two years ago, we took another group down. This was an awesome experience because this is the first group that we took down that really wasn't totally faith-based. Uh, and there were lots of folks who had no faith connection at all. And it was just an incredible experience for all of us to be together for the eight or nine days and to do this work and to experience uh, what it means to give yourself and to help somebody else. And, you know, there were lots of Nicaraguans who worked with us. We were able to take a room like this and... Uh, was just really full of junk and stuff and turn it into a room that was looking like this before we left. Bought some monster racks and uh, organized everything for them. Uh, got all the stuff from around the school into that room. And this is a great story here. This is the upper uh, hallway there at the, on that second story building. 
And it's kind of starting to look like this as we're into it. And this was their library, or biblioteca as they call it. Uh, unusual library because there weren't any children's books. Holes in the roof, electricity didn't work. Yeah, there were, I think there was a set of old English encyclopedias, but that doesn't do them a whole lot of good since they don't read or speak English. And we got in there and cleaned it up and uh, organized their sewing room where they can teach kids uh, how to sew. And this is a room where they learn to do leather and artwork and that kind of thing. And uh, we took that and turned it into this. I wish I could have been there when they came back to school that uh, February. And this room here is kind of a just sort of a all-purpose room. They do a lot of uh, dancing, teaching the traditional folk dancing of uh, Nicaragua. And this is also a room where they do a lot of meeting. And so it once looked like that, and it now looks like this, and it still looks like this today. Electricity, lights work, and boy, it's just an amazing thing. And this hallway that once looked like this, and this little room down here at the end, there were two rooms actually there that we turned into one big room. And as we were working, it was beginning to take shape and start to look like this. And this is really cool. This is a room uh, that they really weren't using. And this is where all the sewing machines originally were. And this room had a room divider. And last year, we christened it, opened it as their library. And uh, they're really excited there. And uh, we turned those two rooms into one big room. And we had tables made. And... Uh, they have books now, they have what they've never had before. And last year when we were down there, uh, we got these books and uh, lots of stuff for the school, globes, uh, math tools. And uh, they now officially have a world map in the school. There are only one, but we'll get more. As you can see, there's still room on the bookshelves. It's my wife's, Marnie's project to uh, get books. Last year, we also put a new roof on the building that we did a couple of years ago. Uh, there was an asbestos roof on there. It was just falling apart, and we felt to be good stewards of the work that we had already done, we needed to do that. This is so cool. This basketball thing was just about ready to fall over, and we put in a new pole and a Wilson backboard, and they couldn't believe it. And this is what this building looked like before we tore into it and started working on it. And now it kind of looks like this. That is so awesome and so cool to be a part of a project like this where you're really making a difference somewhere. Every morning we usually get together and... Uh, kind of talk and share about our, what's going on and experiences that we've had the previous day. And it's all about relationships. I'm so looking forward to the uh, December trip in 2009 here. And uh, we're hoping to take chairs like this and turn them into chairs like that. That's going to be one of our goals to get that done this year. And uh, this is the exterior of the building. Uh, we have since replaced all of those broken windows. Uh, that's all been taken care of. But all the graffiti and everything is still there. So we're going to paint the outside of this building this year. And this is the uh, neighborhood where the school is. A lot of old buildings that were uh, damaged in the earthquake, that are really unlivable, but people have kind of just squatted in them. But this is the neighborhood where the school is and children come from homes and families that uh, live in places like this. And, and this is, you know, this is what it's about. Kids like this on the street who have no direction, who have no purpose, who have, no, no real future uh, of getting a job and, and doing something constructive with their lives. And we've been able to turn the school around. Uh, there were 159 students originally there. There are now over 300 students and it's thriving and it's really making an impact on the community. And that's what it's all about, making a difference. Yeah.